welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the March Spotlight Stationery Stationery subscription box. Um, so if this is something that you'd be interested in, please keep on watching. <laughs> So I've just unboxed what I thought was the March box, turns out it was the April box, so I think this is now the March box, I must have labelled them wrong when I got them. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't been um, up to speed with getting these videos out, but hopefully, um, you know, if you're a subscriber, you can go back and review them and, you know, decide whether this is a subscription box you'd like to be part of. Um, they're very reliable, they do come on time every month and you know they fit through the letterbox so you never have worries about them going astray being left you know outside or with a neighbor or anything like that they always come straight to you um so for 27 pounds this you get some high-end stationery artisan stationery items usually journals cards pens and pencils um yeah and let's just get going shall we um it's been waiting around long enough so fingers crossed this is the March one and I haven't got it completely wrong. Let's have a look. So straight in, we've got the indulge your passion for stationery stamp there and we've got the tissue paper sticker situation. Right, have I got this right? This is the, does it say on it this time? Hmm, doesn't even say March this time. So I'm just gonna pretend this is the March box. <laughs> it says this month's theme is stripes. Okay, lovely. And um, first thing I can see here, we've got the, the postcards. Oh, and something else in here. Oh, lots of different stripey paper clips. Excellent. <laughs> right, so let's get these cards. Oh, there's another one jumping around. There we go. Any more in there? All right. So we've got actually two large, three large, and two, four, six small stripy paper clips. They're lovely. Actually, I'll hold them up so you can see them. So you probably can't see them down there. This is what we got. There we go. Right there. And then the postcards. We've got this. Lovely donuts card. They look good enough to eat. And we've got this cute cat outline. I like that one. I'm a cat person. So definitely like that one. Oh, we've got this one. I think this is a repeat. If it's not a repeat, it's very similar to another one. Obviously by the same artist. They use the sort of same style. But this is familiar, this, this artist. Um, and then we've got these snuggly little woodland creatures. We've got a bear, a rabbit, and a fox. And then we've got the artists there. I also link all their details down below. And also put these on the blog as well, so you can go to the blog post and read more details. There we go. So that's this month's postcards. Right, so, oh, I can see we've got washi tapes here. I haven't had some of the, any of these for a while. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these. See if you can see them. So we've got this one here. There's a little floral one. These are very, very thin. And then we've got what looks like lemons. And then we've got gold hearts on a purple background. And that's very thin, that one. That's even like half the thickness of the others. So love those. They are very cute. And then I can see we've got some writing implements here. We've got two pens, pencil, and what looks like some sort of felt pen, possibly. Let's have a look. So let's do the pencil first. So we've got a Stabilo Trio HB pencil, which is like a triangular pencil. If you can see that there. And that's the the tip there, the nib, or the lead. So that's that one. 
and then we've got two the same here uh, these are zebra pens uh, looks like sarasa 0.7 with a rubber grip and then it looks like we've got black and blue so let's take the little wax bit off the end and try these out yeah that writes really nicely we get quite a lot of pens of this type but I do do a lot of note taking and writing so I will get through them but my collection is building get this one off I can there we go so this is the blue one the same That's a nice deep, fairly deep blue there. And those again are click tops. And then we have this one, which looks interesting. The Kia Rich or Kyra Rich. It looks like a Japanese, oh, it's a zebra. It's a zebra pen in a sort of lilac -y color. Oh, it's like a, oh, is this glittery? I think this might be glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm just going to draw with it. Oh, yeah. That's glittery. It's like a highlighter with a, a wedge tip. And then it's got, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. If I move that around a bit, maybe you can see the sparkles on there. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Mm. But yes, that's got definitely got a little, a very, very fine silver, silver glitter in that ink. And it's a very delicate sort of lilac-y colour. It's not, it's not very dark. So I don't think it would be a highlighter. And you can obviously do calligraphy with it because it's got the, um, you know, the wedge, the wedge tip on it. Yeah, that's very different. I'll be good for you know, the journals highlighting different subject areas or titles, anything really. Brilliant, okay, so that's that one. And then it looks like we've got a greetings card and possibly a matching journal. They've got similar sort of striping on them. So this is a pavilion stripe card. Let's take this off because it's gonna reflect. Let's take that off over there. Right, so this is it. It's a very sort of generic blank card with a, an unusual sort of purpley taupey coloured card uh, envelope. That's a very unusual colour. So that's that one. That's a you know sort of A6 size, well, just slightly bigger than A6, B6 maybe. So that's that one. Actually, does it say? This is actually what it says on the back. Pavilion stripe cards. And then we've got, yes, it, is, it must match. It's a pavilion A5 bound note and sketchbook. Let's take this horrible plastic wrapper. Right, so it's again, it's got this stripe on it, but it's got this lovely gold embossed writing. Which I'm sure you can see reflecting there. Um, so it's A5 bound note and sketchbook, 192 pages, 80 GSM plain paper. So let's flip through. It's a slightly off white, it's not bright white. So that'll be really good for sketching. Um, it's 80 GSM, so it might not be the best paper for maybe watercolour or anything because the water might um, seep through but um, certainly for sketching yes lovely so that's just check that's what we've got everything so it's the notebook um, the greetings card the zebra pen yes the glitter oh it does say highlighter but it's not very bright so I don't think it will highlight very much We've got the Stabilo um, pencil, 
some of this text is actually cut off here, and the washi tapes. So yeah, okay. Right, so we've got a lovely little collection of bits and pieces this month. Um, really like the design on these, it's really colorful. Um, and it's sort of, um, although it's a, it's a sort of paperback book, it's, um, there is uh, a sort of um, a texture on there, like that. Um, we've got the four postcards, we've got the lovely little washi tapes, these are really cute. Love those, I haven't got any that thin, so that's, that's nice. And obviously the, the paper clips and all the writing pens and pencil. So yeah, that's a lovely month. Thank you Spotlight Stationery. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please do um, like, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would really help us out. And also you'll be able to be notified when I upload new videos. So with all that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Some balance